a common message that we've been hearing today from our parents, from our teachers, from our friends, from social media is to be following your dreams, to be following your passions, to, to pursue the thing that lights you up. But one thing I've noticed in my coaching practice is that that ends up putting an immense amount of pressure on a person. And a lot of the times people don't know what that is and they can feel lost. So today I'm going to be talking to you all about the six common signs based on what I've witnessed firsthand of how a person might be feeling lost in their life. The first example, the first sign is that they've lost interest in work or in school, that whatever that they're doing at the moment, they just don't really care anymore. And the key with this is that they did care to begin with, and then that went away. A lot of times people, you know, you're taking classes that you don't really care about, but you have to for your major, or you're working a job just to pay, pay the bills. It's, you might not be interested in those things when you have to do them from a practical standpoint, like you need to, you need to get the credits or you need to, to get the paycheck. What I'm talking more here is you, you were interested in, in what you were pursuing. It was engaging to you. And then that's gone away. That's the key there is that you had interest in the work or the school that you were doing. And then that interest has disappeared. We're going to take a quick pause from this video and just ask for you to hit like and subscribe. Hitting like and subscribe on the video helps the channel out a ton and it's greatly appreciated. And now back to the video. A second sign that I've noticed with my clients is that you might have difficulty making decisions. You know, it might you might have a hard time making decisions around you know who to date or, you know, what types of jobs to apply for, or if you want to take this particular promotion or just even everyday decisions of like, you know, what should I have for dinner? What should I watch on TV? Sometimes that difficulty of making decisions can be a signal that you're just, you're, you're kind of aimless, that you're not really sure where to go. And so now every decision becomes kind of a well, where is this going to take me? What am I going to do with this? And that can even happen with the smaller decisions, even around just every day, taking care of yourself, like with food and things like that. A third sign that you might be feeling lost in your life is that you're not enjoying the, the recreational activities that you used to enjoy before. So you might, you know, maybe you're not into enjoying playing sports as much as you used to anymore or video games or going out into nature or exercising. Like these are things that you were doing for yourself for either for entertainment or for your own fulfillment. You know, this would be outside of work and school, but now they're just, you don't really, it's just not doing it for anymore. You're kind of going through the motions and you're just kind of like, this doesn't, this doesn't light me up anymore. It just kind of like, eh, I'm doing it. The time moves and it's just kind of like, eh. I don't really care. A fourth sign that you might be feeling lost in your life is that you might have random moments of intense emotion. And it could feel like it comes from out of nowhere. You might be feeling like an intense level of anger or frustration that may come out of nowhere. A great example, this might be like those random bouts of road rage that just kind of like spark up out of nowhere. It could also be sadness too, where you're just kind of feeling down. And it you might be looking around you and being like, I don't get it. Like nothing sad happened or nothing, nothing is going on. That should be making me angry or frustrated, but you just, you just are like the mood seem like, seems like it comes out of nowhere and inhabits you for a while. And then you have a hard time shaking it off. And it's, it's not, it's not clear. It, it, it's, it seems like it comes from nowhere. A fifth, signal that you might be feeling lost in your life is your inner dialogue, your inner self-talk with yourself might be coming really, really mean. Like you might be saying stuff in your head that might be really, really cruel. You might be beating yourself up, you know, saying that you're dumb or that you're stupid, that you can't do anything or that there's no point in all of this. Your, your inner monologue, your inner thoughts end up becoming really, really dark, really, really negative. And just starts you to the point where you don't even want to deal with your thoughts anymore. 
It might just start beating you up over and over and over again about, it could be anything. It could be things that are, seem super trivial. And it's just, it's just your thoughts are just being really cruel, really mean, and just never ending, just constantly spinning of all these thoughts of like, this is stupid. What's the point of this? You can't do any of this. You don't know what's, you don't know what the, what, what the point of anything is anymore. And just over and over and over and over again. Uh, sixth, the sixth signal that I've noticed with my clients is that they, that they tend to get disconnected from their social network. They tend to people who feel lost in their life tend to withdraw and hang out with their friends less, talk to their friends less, talk to their family less. You know, they may end up drifting away from romantic relationships or, or choose not to pursue them at all. They end up socially isolating themselves and, you know, create, you know, kind of putting themselves in these just these places where they're just feeling alone. They tend to create an environment that that fulfills what they think is going on with themselves, even if they're not aware of it, of like, they feel lost. They feel like they're alone in the fact that they don't know what to do with themselves. And so they literally make themselves be alone to kind of fulfill what they're feeling on the inside, even if they're not on person aware that they're feeling that. And so they end up, you know, canceling on social engagements or not even bothering to respond to people reaching out to them all, you know, all to kind of just respond and process like that sense that they're feeling lost. And so these six signals, you know, loss of interest in work or school, difficulty making decisions, not enjoying activities you used to for fun, random moments of intense emotion, mean thoughts about yourself and socially disconnecting, if you're experiencing these things and some combination thereof, one here and there isn't that big of a deal, but if you're experiencing multiples of these and it's pro and you're experiencing them for a prolonged period of time for, for days or weeks at a time, these could be signs that, that you might be feeling lost with your life. And the best way to make a change around feeling that way is to become aware that that's where you are. And so hopefully, this can help give you some guidance in that regard to kind of give you that level of self-awareness of like, huh, I have been feeling these things. Maybe it is because I, I'm feeling lost. I feel like I'm not pursuing what should suit me. And I don't know what that is.